My name is Laura Covey. I am a professor of physics at the Institute for Theoretical Physics of Göttingen University. Quantum field theory is the basic ingredient for our description of the physics at the smallest scales, in particular particle physics, and it has been really the main ingredient in the standard model, which is the most successful model we have so far for the small scales and for the description of forces between particles. Nowadays, of course, we try to extend this model and go beyond, but we are always using methods of quantum field theory and the inspiration of symmetries. Theoretical physics investigates the laws of nature and the behavior of matter by mathematical thought. A good example is the invention of quantum mechanics that took place in Göttingen. Werner Heisenberg and Max Born finally resolved the mystery of the spectral lines in atoms by discovering new mathematics in their patterns and at the same time revolutionized physics altogether. Göttingen is the founding place of quantum mechanics, but we do not only work on quantum mechanics. There's also a broad range of research activities related to non-quantum properties of matter. In my group, for example, we work on soft matter and biological physics. Among other things, we are interested in how mechanical forces contribute to the functioning of uh, living systems. The cytoskeleton is the force-bearing structure in biological cells. It consists of a complex network of interconnected filamentous proteins. We want to understand using computer simulations and also theoretical modeling how forces build up in these systems and how they change in time. Computer simulation is an essential tool in soft matter and biophysics. It allows to study complex models without approximations, thereby we can test and improve theories and we can provide information about the three-dimensional dynamics and disentangle the role of different molecular interactions that may be difficult in an experiment. I'm fascinated about the mathematical modeling of nature. Natural materials or nature-inspired materials have amazing properties and they're ubiquitous in daily life. So examples range from food products to polymer membranes to biomedical applications. We try to identify the relevant properties and devise models that are both simple and predictive and study them by computer simulation and theory. So in condensed matter physics we have moved up the length scale from elementary particles to liquids and solids. Here in our research group in Göttingen we use a wide range of numerical and analytical methods to predict uh, and understand such quantum matter. So, my main research interest is understanding quantum matter in non-equilibrium. This is an exciting new field. You can ask simple questions, get surprising answers, and it's a lot of fun. I strongly believe in integrating students in research projects from early on. I've made very good experiences with having students in my research group. It provides a stimulating atmosphere and everyone profits from it. The research at the Institute for Theoretical Physics uh, is based on pen and pencil uh, work as well as numerical uh, approaches. I use highly efficient numerical approaches uh, to treat uh, quantum many body systems in equilibrium and out of equilibrium for, for treating uh, uh, fundamental questions as well as more uh, related questions to materials development and uh, applications. The skills the students get when they get in touch with us are to develop new ideas and to explore possibilities by themselves and also to discuss them in depth. One of the questions we are probably on the verge of solving is the identity of dark matter. Dark matter makes up 30% of the energy density of our universe and it cannot be any of the standard model particles. The work of a theoretical physics will, of course, never end. Indeed, uh, we have still uh, some open problems since very long time, like the cosmological constant introduced by Einstein. And on the other hand, in the new models, uh, we find always also new questions to be answered. And on that side, the Institute for Theoretical Physics of Göttingen University is one of the best places uh, to pursue this research at the forefront of the uh, new discoveries. Mm -hmm.